Once we get up to high energy radio waves, we start getting to low energy microwaves, which, as I'm sure you know, are popular for use in cooking, in microwave ovens like these. The reason for this is because they can use a process called dielectric heating to heat up water. They do this thing with the water molecules that makes them very, very hot. And it is, in fact, the water molecules that will heat up the rest of the food. This is why if you have a piece of food with a fairly dry outer layer but a moist inner layer, it'll seem to heat up from the inside out. And so, of course, microwave ovens, as we know, are very useful today. And they operate just by using microwaves which are produced in a similar way to radio waves, causing electrons in an antenna to vibrate back and forth very quickly. Except in this case, the receiving antenna is not a conductor made of metal, but water molecules. We can also use microwaves for communication, not just for cooking. The thing is, they can't be bounced off the ionosphere, like AM radio, so we have to have line of sight to where we're transmitting to. And so for this reason, we have relay stations, which might look something like this picture over here. These are separated by about uh, 50 kilometers, and they can be used to receive a microwave signal and then increase its power and send it to the next relay station until the signal reaches where it needs to go. Of course, if something gets in the way between two different relay stations, we might not be able to transmit the microwaves quite as reliably. Now, it turns out that both radio waves and microwaves or things of that sort of length, can be used to detect distant objects. Radio detection and ranging, also known as radar, is a way of using microwaves or radio waves to detect objects. Just like sound waves, if a microwave or a radio wave collides with an object or goes into a different medium, then part of it will be transmitted through and part of it will bounce back. And of course, if we measure the time that it takes for the light to get all the way to the object and then all the way back, we can figure out how far away it is. Just like using sound waves for sonar. So in this way, it's possible to figure out the location of very distant objects, like planes, or if we're weathermen, clouds. So speed cameras are another use of radar that measure the speed of moving objects, like a car. 